Hello everyone, we're here today and I have a special instrument to share with you and share with us. This is the 1938 Chatfield Violin. It is part of a matched string quartet of instruments made by Mr. Chatfield uh, and it was that set of instruments was donated to the Oconomowoc school systems in the early 1940s. It's been played for a good number of years and those instruments came to the place where they needed some repair and restoration. They were unplayable. And so the school system has uh, recently completed the project of restoring the full string quartet of instruments and they were released in November of 2019. They were heard as a string quartet. There was a special version of the Fanfare for Lake Country that was written specifically for them by composer Brian Wilbur Grunstrom. Uh, but we haven't had a chance to hear the instruments individually. And so I thought I'd do that with you today and share it. Um, what's also interesting about these, this set of instruments is Mr. Jeffield used some of the wood from the Lac Lavelle area. So they're very, uh, they're very tied to this area, uh, although it's the restoration process is more about the art of violin and the, you know, how they look and what, what the result of it for us is. It has the local picture, but how it ties into the greater view of violin making is sort of interesting. Uh, Mr. Chatfield had a chance to uh, communicate and study with Olaf Brevik, who is a Milwaukee maker, and he also uh, had some ties down to the Chicago uh, luthier shops, so um, it, was, it was fun to hear. He was uh, making instruments at the point that the Milwaukee Symphony and the Waukesha Symphony were in their founding years, and so he wasn't a professional maker. He was an elect electrician that worked for City Hall by trade, but he has a very interesting path with violin. This instrument in restoration had a little bit of varnish that was sort of uh, bubbling. It had uh, some, it must have experienced heat, perhaps moisture, you can see, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but here in this area, we see it through the back here, um, on the sides, the ribs, as well as uh, in the, just under the fingering area, it's just sort of ripply, um, it's been restored and it's, it's uh, intact now, but you see a little bit of the path it's been through. This area near the F-hole had a crack that ran through the F-hole and up here to the bout, and so it's been repaired, and it goes into the bout. There's a repair that compromised this bout, and Luther Scott Slider of Milwaukee did such a wonderful job. I have another instrument to side-by-side -side this with you. The Chatfield instrument here is, oh, it uh, has a little bit of an orangey quality to it, uh, maybe a lighter uh, quality. Here's a darker instrument, and so you can tell uh, just in coloring um, how they are. Of these two instruments, you might also be able to tell the, how high the belly or the, the bridge, uh, just below the bridge where that sits is different. This one arches more. This is a little bit flatter uh, through this area, but then it does arch in the middle. So it has a beautiful uh, peg set up. There's eyelets on the pegs. And so it's just uh, sort of fun. It's just nice to see them running again. As a student back at, I am an OHS grad, by the way. So uh, I had a chance to play on the two Chatfield violins when I was growing up. And it's just nice to see them back in, uh, in commission. So this is a reunion for me. Uh, Maybe we can hear the voice of the instrument just a couple ways. I'll play just open strings. That allows us to hear just its voice without a whole lot going on. Uh, nice way to do that. <laughs> And so, this is um, a little bit of the fanfare for Lake Country. It's a piece that was written for this area, but it's appropriate to anybody who's been near a lake and enjoys that uh, quality of time, the energy and the relaxedness and the vitality of the lakes. Uh, it was an orchestral work written for us, but then it was made into arrangements for all instruments. And so here's a little bit of the theme from the fanfare for Lake Country. <laughs> Can you hear it? It, does, it is open 
and it is ringing at this point, so that's that's good. Okay, and then maybe a little last uh, taste test for us here today. A perennial favorite. It's it's uh, tried and true for all violinists. The first movement of J.S. Bach, unaccompanied sonata for violin in G minor. Just a little bit of the very beginning for that. Take care. Happy musical trails to you. And I hope you enjoy.